I'm gonna look over a couple sets from Hyrule Saga. This is one that interests me the most because it's a uh, Sigma versus Eon. Now Eon, he's a fox from SoCal. Sigma seem at the moment as like the top two toon link between him and Yuga. Um, but yeah, no Sigma from Japan. I forget where in Japan, but maybe Osaka. Um, I don't know, but. Yeah, they played winners finals of their pool. Yeah, they played winners finals of their pool at Hyrule Saga. Now Eon is really good at the two. I would say he's the best fox at the two lane matchup. Honestly, he's beaten Rima before. Hey, Lord Reptail, thank you for the follow. Uh, he's beaten Rima before. He's been taught the matchup by Zan pretty much. So, yeah, let's. I'm like I said, I'm still not that amazing at VOD reviewing, so bear with me, but I'm, I'm gonna do my best. But yeah, two-link Fox matchup, it can go like either way. I would say it's slight Fox favor, but we can blow him up and get him off stage, and then, but Fox can blow us up and not let us land. We go Town and City game one. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Aeon probably banned like Smashville and FD and Sigma probably banned, I guess banned Battlefield and Lilat. I don't know, I probably would have maybe have tried to go Lilat game one, maybe. I don't, I don't mind Lilat versus Fox. Usually I mind Lilat just because the tilt can fuck with projectiles and whatnot, but I generally, like I said, don't mind it versus Fox. Generally, I don't mind going Battlefield versus Fox, but, I, but I'm a weird one. I, I like Battlefield in the matchup until, again, that convenient dash tag up air four times. But I enjoy playing with platforms. But this is like the neutral choice, I would say. Pay attention to like Sigma when he's off stage. His mix-up game is pretty ridiculous. Like, look at that. Like, it's like unnecessary, but like so sometimes it is. But other times, it definitely can throw your opponent off and get you back to center stage. All right, so he's doing he's doing well keeping that bay with. Uh, I don't I don't like that. Especially because, even because he, because he's kind of fastball. Even if that did hit him, I feel like it wouldn't have pushed him really into that up smash. But because he is like the fast faller that he is, the Zare really didn't put him into tumble, so he was able to shield that. Uh, yeah, he was able to just land perfectly fine. Power shield the boomerang, and yeah. I want to see how much he's. Well, I'm gonna guess he's gonna get down throw, fair up aired. Oh, no. oh, okay, he's just gonna dash attack and try to follow up on it, but doesn't. Alright, that was that was a cute little sequence. See, that that's an example of good awareness of uh, the returning boomerang and and then converting off of it. He gets in there, a little trade, but he just gets popped up, so he lands right back down. Boomerang, up tilt, up there. Yeah, Eon, he plays how you how you should play the matchup as Fox is very patient, which a lot of Foxes do not do. Like, if, um, had to convince Tim he's a bail me. Yo, sounds good. Uh, something a lot of Foxes like Larry. Um, Larry has shown he does not enjoy the two link matchup because he plays very aggressive and then ends up running into uh, running into nares, into boomerangs, into bombs. And then, and he, especially he will, ch I, f I wonder how much Eon is going to chase Sigma in the air, because is, I feel like it's better to just, like, as a Fox player, to just wait for two links landings. If he throws bombs, just reflect it, and then just wait and catch his landings with up tilt or, like, dash attack. How do I fight Tink? Just hit him. Ooh, oh my god, is he dead? Caught him. Hella. Hella slipping. Woo! Alright, that was. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I could help. But, like. Yeah. 
I mean, like, look, he pulls out the air dodge. It's just... He dies right after, yeah. Yeah, no, like, sometimes Fox just hits you and you die. Yeah, he's like, ah, fuck. Oh, you can't... Oh, damn, you can't even see Sigma. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me... Uh... There we go. Like, look, you, look, you, look at Sigma. Sigma's a great person. He's a, he's a wonderful guy. Shout out to him. But, yeah, he got caught hella hard. But he's still, he's still in there. He can easily take the stock soon. See, this is why, like, I personally... I can see this as a neutral stage, but this is why I would rather go Lilad, in my opinion. Because, like, scenarios like this, oh, you hit him, but then the platform's just right there. Whereas, like, Lilad, he would either have to go to the ledge or, like, have to side be back to stage where we could, where if, where, where we could punish. Uh, I think it's just a lot easier to trap him on Lilad. Ooh, little, was he not confident he was going to hit that bomb? I guess he. I guess he didn't think he would pop like that far in front. Yeah, it doesn't get doesn't get the fair. Oh God! See, you see, look what he did there. Look, 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 look. See, he gets the fair, the up air. Most other foxes after this up air will like try to like extend it farther with another double jump up air. But if he tried that, I guarantee it would not have worked because of the low per of Sigma's low percent and Eon's high percent. That they try to double jump up. There have been scenarios Fox will try to do that and they'll miss the second up air and then I just up air them and kill them. But what Eon does here, he gets them up air, runs off to reset. That was a good sliding air dodge off the ledge. But like, no, that was that was great. Like he does the up air, runs back down, waits for him. Try to try to catch him landing on the platform, because he knows that Tulane just wants to get back on the ground. Those are the up air misses though, but you know, Sigma just air dodges back into the stage, gets extra damage, and gets him to the ledge. So that was that was a good play by Eon. That's such a common thing for two links. I do that shit all the time, but so many people fall for it. Like, if you're in this position, if if two links doing this, just keep shielding. Or like show hop aerial. If you see an air dodge come out. Nine times out of ten, the two wings is gonna throw an aerial after, and then try to get past you, or even may not even do it, just get back to stage. So just show up aerial, like show up there right here, or even just up tilt. But yeah, that was good getting back to center stage. Yeah, no Sigma's just fishing now. Yeah, that's also a no-no. Even though he's good in the matchup, I don't know why he did it. He bombed. He should know that there's no point in air dodge. See, look, look, he air dodge. If Sigma just fell with another, with an, just did another fair, he would have killed him. In those positions, when you get bombed, you're literally better off just like jumping, or like even throwing out an attack, honestly. But yeah, uh, he fat he fast fell a little bit too fast after the fair. If he didn't fast fall that first fair, he would have been able to get another one and just land with fair and kill him. But he gets in there, gets him. Oh my god, I almost killed. I get. Oh man. Could he have. Hmm, let me see something. Bomb. If he if he committed to that, he could have gotten up B off it. And that would have killed. I, I believe you. I don't know if it was too high percent or not. But instead, he just re gets him back to the ledge. Oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on. I went back a little bit too far. He side oh hold on, catch side B. Side B's here. I don't think the arrow is gonna stop him. Oh, it does stop him. If it didn't stop him, I feel like he could have got like an up smash from it. But yeah, Sigma is just he's having trouble killing. Eon, Eon's playing well. He's playing outside of his outside, but not too far outside of his range. Well. Yeah, yeah, Sigma's just throwing out aerials, trying to get something. But then, yeah, back here's not safe, especially against Fox. See, look, see, look, he just waits. He, 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 he didn't, he didn't like double jump commit. He dash tag just waited. 
And then if he just like, if Sigma didn't jump and he would just, if he just air dodge, I guarantee you he would have just jumped back aired him. So, see, see, Eon's playing the matchup really well. Very patient. Very bait and punish, and not forcing forcing stuff to happen. Oh, you see. Yeah, he tried. I don't know if he, if he was trying to sneak the back throw in there. All right, okay, that was good. That was good. I ho Let's see. Boomer he power shields the boomerang, and he was like, "All right, he's gonna try to run in and punish me because he power shields." So that means he can act faster out of shield, and then he just calls him out. So that was good. <laughs> Look at him, he's just stretching. He's like, "Oh, freaking fox." See, like, right, like, right there. He he doesn't try to like fucking throw out back airs or whatever. He just waits and shield, gets that damn little F tilt out, waits for the landing, almost catches him with the up tilt, but still doesn't take any damage from him from like we're just doing nothing. See, that's what this is how you're supposed to play as Fox. Just wait. A uh, little bit outside of the range for up tilt. See, look, he just gets the crabs, gets the damage. He's like, I know you're not going to kill me for a bit. Yes, yeah, there. It's there. Dash attack, very common, low percent follow up. See, good patience waiting out the bombs. Oh, oh okay, that's not it yet. That blows himself up to stall a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, that was good. Huh. He got trumped, but he tethered and just waited for him to throw out something. It was a little bit hasty by Eon. Was that triple roll? Well, roll, roll. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got it to get away from ledge against Fox. You can still do it. He's gonna drop from. He's gonna drop down from the tether upbeat. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> like, look at that shit right there. That would have been good if he caught his. If he caught him shield drop in there. Look, tether release, jump from, jump, drop down, jump bomb. Fair. I don't know how I feel about that arrow, especially at your at your percent. Oh, that was scary. You can still do. Mm, he's, he's saying again. Oh, he didn't have his boomerang. Oh, he I, he thought he caught his boomerang. You know? Oh shit! He hit him with like every laser right there. <laughs> Is that it? See, look, see, look at that. Look at that. It's literally, like, he, Eon doesn't get phased that, like, oh, I haven't killed him yet. He's at one cent, because he knows he will kill him, as long as he just doesn't try to force an option and get hard punished for it. Because, like I said, those times when he hit him up in the air, he just waited. Every time he got him off stage, he just waited. That's what you're supposed to do. And look, right here, he just waited. He waited for the neutral getup. <laughs> That's a weird frame of the grab. But yeah, forward throw, and that'll do it. Small, small side blast zones on Town City. 180%, that'll do it. But yeah, Eon's playing well. Sigma played a little better the second stock than the first. I feel like he was trying to force stuff, force too many stuff, too many things once he had the lead, so. Now, where do we, Eon probably banned Smash, I think he banned Smash, but we played a money match, and I lost 3-1, but Pretty positive against Smashville when we play it, so I doubt we're going. I'm probably gonna go FD. FD, FD, or did he not be in Smashville? Halberd? Halberd? Oh, I didn't see where they went. Alright, we'll see. Oh, he did go Smashville. Uh, maybe he, oh, maybe he did ban FD. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Rocky Star. 
Wait, was that him doing drop down jump wedge from wedge? So yeah, no, that's a thing. Like, just if he has bomb at ledge, just like, and like, of course he's gonna throw. A lot of times, two links will do the drop down jump throw in aerial. But, or, or throw the bomb. But literally, just stuff him out. And he's just waiting in shield. Because he's like, oh, you're not going to grab me. At zero. And he's just he's just waiting. He, he doesn't care that he like, got back to center stage. He didn't eat anything because of it. Well, now he ate like a little something. But he doesn't care. Alright, that was a good grab. Ooh, okay, good wait. So exactly what I'm saying. He's just waiting. Oh, that was a good up tilt up smash. Do that in there. That that was that was a good angle on the boomerang. He didn't he recognize that he didn't have his double jump too, so he had to land. So he just threw the bomb to catch his landing. Perfect time. Even he got the explosion hit too, so that did uh, more percent. If you didn't know, like see that did eight percent on impact. It does about four to like sometimes like six, but then explosion does about seven to eight. So. The more you know. Yeah, see, too, like up close, two link really can't do much about in your face side B. Can't really react in time for like an up smash, so you guys just like best thing to do is like throw out a jab and hope it like clanks. Nice back here. Sigma playing a bit better this game. Didn't let the first game get to him. Uh, I feel like he's letting Eon shield a bit too much. Like, like uh, so if, if if you up tilt this shield, you might as well just. I don't know, man. Like, uh, I feel like I feel I feel like Sigma is respecting him a bit too much. Oh my god. He knew his shield was low, so he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm throwing another boomerang. At least it'll hit, it, hit his shield. That was amazing recognition by Sigma that he power shielded that boomerang, and he knew he had the time. Because because uh, he was close enough, he knew Sigma was going to have oh have to either catch the boomerang or cancel the animation by either shooting an arrow or pulling out a bomb. And the fast thing is to pull a bomb. To stop the animation of him re catching the boomerang. And he recognized the power shield is, so he had enough time to just run up and do it. That was wild. I feel like Sigma is not confident in his bomb throws. Too many of the, too many of them he's just like hitting and then running away. Which it sometimes can be a good thing, but against Fox, just try to take advantage of it. Cause you like look, you're gonna eat percent anyway. He's at 42, 50, 64. Okay, that was good. That was a good uh, follow up on the uh, trade. Oh, oh my God, what is he? What are you doing, Eon? What are you? What is your problem? The un. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know if the double jump fair gives him more height. I th maybe, but whatever. You got it. <laughs> the boomerang clips him. But yeah, there's not much left in this game, so is this a two stock? I really hope not. Ah, uh, no, no, it is not, because that was very good. See, that's a that's a common thing against Fox, is to catch illusion with arrow. Because almost every time Eon side B, he side B back onto stage, so Sigma knew to just shoot out the arrow now, and it, and it stopped him, and then plopped him in the perfect position for bomb fair. I feel like Eon could have like should have like. Drifted in more and then just recovered straight up because there's really not much tooling you can do about that except like Back air into the stage and hope you missed the tech, but if you're a fox mate, you better hit that tech <laughs> But he just up ease right away gets a simple bomb fair. That was good But uh Yeah All right. All right, that was good the follow-up on the back. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um Okay, Sigma you you were feeling yourself a little too much Second hit, second hit, Nair bomb. 
Wait, well, okay, wait, let me, let me do one this. Second hit in air, bomb, grab, stuffs with the boomerang. Because, like I say, like, he noticed that every time he side B's, it's on the stage. So, calls him out, dash attack. He, Eon gets the slide off from the platform, so he's able to jump. And he gets caught with the up, up air. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess he knew he didn't have his jump. So he's like, oh, he's going to try to fall fast. But Eon did the smart thing and stalled in the air. Because Tuing's not going to like chase that. See, he knew that since uh, Sigma double jumped, I believe. Did he double jump to get that up air? Yeah, he double jumped to get that up air. So he knew stalling wouldn't hurt him. Because it's not like if he, it's not like he stalled and Sigma was able to like jump again and up air him or something. Which at that percent he could have. So he just stalled and waited and Sigma got a little too greedy, just charging it up smash. And Eon's like, alright, I'm just gonna drift here and Oh no, I didn't want to go forward. And just boop. Yeah, so um He's gonna be like, you have a sword, but I'm a fucking robot. Well, robot legs, I guess. And just, yeah, he, he, he charged it a little bit too much and bam. Gets him off stage. Again, just waiting in shield, cause he knew he's like, I right, he can't hit me with an aerial, he can't grab me. Is that gonna, ooh, yikes, yuck, 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 okay. So he gets the up tilt, gets hit by the turning boomerang, which turns him, turns him around, which is which helps him. And then he double jump pull. See, even this far away is not safe for Fox. Even that far, that that's the main thing. You picking and choosing when you pull your bomb is hell important. Hell important. Like, it's a, it is the most common way two links die. At least from, like, their own mistake. Which is pulling a bomb at the wrong time. And thinking it is the right time. Because, like, hey, you are, like, three heights of the Smashville platform away from him. But you already used your double jump, so you start falling a bit. And Fox just quickly double jump up there. Clips him. Doesn't even get the... I'm pretty sure it was just the second hit. And it trades with the bomb, but unfortunately, that'll be that. And Eon takes it 2-0. Like I said, he's good as shit at the Fox matchup. So. Like. Like, that, that, that was not enough space. That's crazy. He just barely clips him. Little, little pop off by Eon. But yeah, so. I mean. That was, uh. That was that. But yeah, Eon played that matchup really well. And that's how you. That's how you Foxes are supposed to play the matchup. Like, if you dash attack, dude, don't force a double jump up there. Wait for two links to f try to land and then just catch him. But uh, yeah, that was good on Eon's part. Rip signal.